Hey folks, it's Jim. Uh, I remember I was uh, did a video where I was using a 200 watt uh, solar setup at 44 volts. The Pecron really didn't handle it well. Uh, it got very little energy out, almost like it was working with a PWM charger. However, this charge controller, it's rated 32 to 95 volts, up to 500 watts. I believe, check your owner's manuals and your equipment, because uh, I don't know what kind of equipment you got with your Pecron, but uh, I put a 400 watt panel on this and it loves it. So it's very effective and efficient at 400 watts. Now, right now we're putting 370 in uh, from the panel. Um, we're not even at peak sun yet, but this has gone all the way to 420 watts in from the 400 watt panel and that panel's at 40 volts. Um, I'll do a video on those at another time. So what I found was is that the Pecron charge controller and uh, system in general appears to like the higher wattage. And that's what the, the plug-in charger they send with it is at 400 watts. So it appears that this seems to be the sweet spot for this particular device. Now, let me add my disclaimer, and this is not advice of any kind, okay? Please seek out the professional advice that is right for you. This is simply what I'm doing uh, with my Pecron, um, and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Those are my disclaimers, so please seek out the help that you need with your systems. But anyway, I got a bunch of 400-watt panels that I wasn't using, so I um, went ahead and tried it, and it's working out great. So it appears that this particular charge controller likes the higher wattages and it didn't matter about voltage because the 200 watts was at 44 volts and this is at 40 volts. This 400 watt panel is at 40 volts. So voltage didn't play a lot with it. It seems to be amperage or uh, wattage at any rate. Um, so there you go. Uh, I wanted to share this with you. Update on the Pecron. Uh, S1500F. Uh, it's a decent unit. Um, it de Definitely this charge controller isn't on the quality of my EcoFlow. My EcoFlow, if I put the 200 watt, you know, two 100 watt panels at 44 volts on it, uh, it maxes those out at 200 watts, just like it maxes out the 400 watt panel. So the EcoFlow definitely has a better charge controller in it, MPPT. Um, but this one, it seems at lower wattages, behaves like a PWM charger. At higher wattages, it performs like an MPPT charge controller. Now, you can see all this wattage going in. I'm at 75%. Once I get to 85%, I am going to throttle down my panel. So I gently finish charging this at about 200 watts. And I will show that on another video. And again, disclaimer, this is what I do. This is not advice. I am not recommending you do this. Uh, please seek out professional advice that is right for you. Read, know, and understand all of your manuals, okay, so that everything you do is done safely with the equipment that you have, okay? But this video is just about the PEC run. So, um, yeah, it's doing great, uh, performing very well with the 400-watt panel. So I use this one panel to charge this and my EcoFlow. And it does it very quickly. And then I'll show you on another video how to throttle down that big panel and, uh, and how I gently finish charging this off so I'm not damaging the battery, slamming it, you know, with 400 watts all the way up to, you know, 98% or whatever. So anyway, uh, that's my video for today. The Pecron S1500F seems to love that 400 watt panel at 40 volts. Um, yeah, Jim out.